What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Egg, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe to the like button for me. And in the midst of 90% of the hip-hop news that you hear, a lot of it is negative. A lot of it is either toxic, who snitched on who, who shot who, who robbed who, who had sex with this person. It's the same rubbish. It's the same garbage. But what I wanted to do with this video here, I wanted to talk about something that caught my eye. And it's an interesting notion that we're giving the people that lay in the foundation for the culture their flowers. I want to talk about currency. And he got his own mural in New Orleans. He said here, mom and dad found the wall. They love it and they're so proud, man. I haven't made my way there yet, but I will in a bit. Is another one. He said, thanks for the flowers. They are smoking so good. I think I'm fitting to cry. Man, I'm going to cry. When I get back home, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head straight to this wall and park the low rider by for a picture. Who's doing this? Thank you. I'm so honored. And that's a beautiful thing to me, man, because a lot of the people that are really providing contributions, they deserve to see their appreciation and their work be noted. And it's good to see currency. The city of New Orleans is doing that for them. So, Currency been around for a while, man. Like, he came around around the time with the 504 boys. Then he started coming with Young Money, but he started coming on his own when he tapped in that stoner lane. He's tapped in the stoner lane. He knew what type of production to get. He rapped about regular shit like getting high, fly cars, gorgeous women. I mean, you know, it's just... You know, fun music. And, and you know Wiz Khalifa came after that, I believe. Wiz came after that. Juicy J started coming around after that. Spitter pretty much pioneered the lane for himself. Even though Juicy J been around longer, but as a solo act. As a solo act, he started tapping in that lane too. It's a lane that Spitter started carving for himself. Which was also introduced by Devin the Dude. I mean, we're not going to go in and um, leave Devin the Dude out, you know, when it comes to tapping in that stoner lane. But Spitter, Currency for that matter, he introduced a new era with that. And he built a cult following too. He don't get into beefs, he don't get into bullshit, he stays in his lane, he makes good music. And he should be applauded for that. I haven't heard any bad stories about currency at all. And if you listen to some of the stuff, like, I'm not going to lie. I used to think his delivery was kind of boring at first, but it grew to me when I listened to Weekend at Bernie's, that series. Then he did the projects with Alchemist. That grew on to me as well. I mean, dude, been putting it down. I think he put out like 10 projects last year. I mean, I could be wrong. He put, uh, Did he put out 10 projects last year? But this guy deserves his flowers, man, because he, he's been... Oh, Pilot Talk. That's the name of it, Pilot Talk. But he deserves his appreciation. So salute to New Orleans, the city of New Orleans for that. And I also did this video, speaking of New Orleans, that we also have a new show coming. My man Pittsburgh Pat, I call him Pittsburgh Pat Riley. You heard him on some of the interviews that we did with Off The Cuff Radio. He's going to be having his own show. So we're going to have that under the uh, Off The Cuff Radio umbrella. And it's going to be giving light to New Orleans rappers, New Orleans artists, the Noya. So, be on lookout for that. I'm going to keep y'all more up to date with that. So, big salute to Currency for getting his appreciation and getting his flowers. So, holla at me.